Have you ever wondered about the translations of liquor names in other languages? Well, let me tell you what you get when you type white liquor in Google Translate and look it up in Chinese. It's Baiju. Baiju is pronounced as Baiju, and it's a type of alcoholic beverage that originated in China thousands of years ago. In other words, Baiju has already been consumed while wars were alive. Hi, in this video, we will learn more about this most consumed spirit as we discuss everything you need to know about this Chinese drink. Welcome to Advanced Mixology. What is Baiju? It's no wonder that one of the first distilled spirits in China was Baiju, which dates back to the 14th century. When China established its friendship with America around the late 70s, this beverage became available for consumption on American tongues, at least to some extent. It was initially made by fermenting sorghum or rice with distilled grains like millet, wheat, or corn. Nowadays, there are over 10 varieties of Baiju available, which vary greatly in taste depending on what kind of grain they were fermented with as well as their potency. What's so special about Baiju? If this Chinese beverage is the most consumed drink in the world, why is it unheard of? The drink is largely popular in China, which means it's far ahead of the game when it comes to consumption. That's why you won't see this drink on any bar menus except for that scholarly bartender who likes to impress everyone with his alcohol arsenal. How is Baiju made? The process of making this beverage is just so simple, but the outcome can be anything from strong, salty, or sweet. First, preparing the ingredients. To start off, you'll have typically grained ingredients such as rice or sorghum. These then go into large stills where they're cooked through with boiling water until all solubles have been purely dissolved. Second, preparing the chew. Chew is pronounced as chew. It is the flesh that forms, which is used for saccharification of baiju. It is the essential ingredient that transforms wine into baiju. There are two types of chew. We have big chew and small chew. The big chew is made from grain, which is the most frequently used like sorghum, but barley, peas, and the husks of grain can also be used, while the small chew is made from rice as an alternative to grain, and this makes baiju have a lighter taste compared to the big chew. Third, saccharification. In the West, sugar is a crucial component in producing alcohol because yeast feeds on it. However, none of these natural ingredients for making baiju contain any form or type of sweetener, which makes chew very important. Saccharification happens when you add powdered chew and water together with core grains or rice to enable more microorganisms to merge into a concoction while allowing starch molecules to turn into simple sugars. Fourth, fermentation. The ingredients are placed in a ceramic pot and left to ferment. Some people let their mixture naturally ferment for months, while others add more chew if they want it stronger or water during different stages of the process, depending on what brand you're going by. No two brands will be exactly alike as everyone has their own technique, which gives them unique flavors. Fifth, distillation. The baiju mixture is poured into a still for boiling and steaming. This process aims to extract the alcohol fermented within it. Vapors arise during heating. These are extracted by a distillate device that cools off leftovers from further processing until they have all been used up again. And finally, aging. The longer you leave your baiju to age, the more flavor it will have. Six months is a minimum period for safe consumption, and some high-end brands may even be left to mature up to five years before they are released into circulation. Here are some of the frequently asked questions about this drink. What does Baiju taste like? It is usually seen as a whole class of liquor. It isn't easy to pinpoint one specific flavor because each brand has its own unique scent and taste. Still, sometimes people who have tried Baiju might find themselves passing judgment on them without realizing other options may better suit their preferences. It can be described as having a sweet, fruity taste with nutty undertones. The strange and complex aroma from this Chinese liquor usually grabs your attention when you first pour it into the glass. If you want something with a twist, you can mix it with some juice or herbs. There are Baiju cocktails you can try, like the Wang Chu Punch and the Mai Tai in the East. Is Baiju a good cocktail mixer? 
Baiju is a big part of China's history that dates back thousands of years. It's frequently drunk with food and is mostly consumed by old men. It's only brought out for important and rare occasions. It is not served at nightclubs in China, and it is traditionally not mixed in cocktails because when Baiju is added to a cocktail, everything changes. Baiju itself is made up of so many different flavors and Chinese are already loving it. But because of the modernization of recipes, Baiju can now be used in a variety of ways, and it is considered to be a great partner with juices, herbs, and some cocktails. Its aroma has been compared to stinky cheese, anise, pineapples, musk, and gasoline by several non-Chinese drinkers. How do you drink Baiju? It comes with diminutive glasses which look like glass goblets for dolls. This means there will be plenty of refills to keep you company. You should start by trying out just one sip on your own and then move on to enjoying it at an extravagant Chinese banquet where people are drinking it straight as scotch. How to consume this drink with food? According to the country of origin, Baiju should be served with food. In China, people enjoy pairing this drink for special occasions. They often pair it with chicken or seafood, which complements the intense flavors well. Spicy red meats are okay, but don't expect too much else because those two fight when ingested together. What are the Baiju traditions? In China, alcohol is the spirit of good fortune. You'll often see business people drinking during lunch and dinners to bring luck in their negotiations or deals, even when socializing with friends. Many Chinese are wary about Westerners, but if you break it down to one drink at the first meeting, then chances are they will trust this person more because it's something natively familiar. Chinese culture values hospitality and toasting with different rituals. The lowest position for a glass represents humility, so you must never refuse an offer of drinks at any mealtime in China. This Chinese drink is a way to show their appreciation for a guest. It's also an opportunity to appreciatively engage with another culture and learn something new about it. How Baiju changed the world from ancient China to modern day cocktails. The Baiju business exploded during Chairman Deng Xiaoping's economic policy of reform and opening in the 1970s. Today, it is expected that 13.6 billion liters of alcohol were produced and expected to be more in the following years, and because alcohol is also a popular present, its popularity persists. There are numerous various aromas of Baiju nowadays, but the most common are Light Aroma, most popular in the northern parts of China. Chu is sometimes made from peas and barley. Fastest to age, typically less than six months. Known for its lightweight quality and a faint hint of floral sweetness. Divided into two types, Urguatu and Fenju. Strong aroma. Popular anywhere in China. Often regarded as traditional Baiju. Typically it takes two or three months to ferment. Known to have an extremely intricate yet aromatic flavor. This is the best-selling type of Baiju rice aroma. Raw ingredients and the microorganic culture come from rice rather than sorghum. Relatively young baiju, fermented for a few days and distilled one or three times. Most common in southeastern China. Customary to pair with steamed dumplings, seafood and other dim sum dishes. Have a similar taste to vodka with hints of flowers, honey, grass and lemon. Resemblance to international counterparts like sake from Japan and saju from Korea. Sauce aroma, known for its lingering fragrance, which strikingly resembles soy sauce. Originated from the Giju area in southwest China. The primary ingredient is sorghum. Multiple fermentation processes. The distillation process involves eight different cycles. The fancy bottle of sauce aroma baiju is often the go-to choice for impressing someone. Signifies taste and sophistication. Baiju on the rise. The first book on Beiju written in English was Baiju, The Essential Guide to Chinese Spirits, written by Derek Sandhouse. He spent time interviewing connoisseurs and big names from the alcoholic beverage industry who talked about this one-of-a-kind drink with its potential for the elevation of dominance over other beverages like gin or vodka. A line in the book says, most people taste Baiju for the first time, the flavors are unfamiliar to them, it's easy to write it off and assume there's something wrong with the drink. Do you know about the Chinese drinking game Ganbei? Well, if you shout Ganbei before chugging a shot of Baiju, then I guarantee your buddies will be on the same page with you. The world is already starting to believe in this superior booze, and there's no telling what it could achieve within just two more years or so. Who knows where we'll end up by then?
Baiju goes global. Today, Baiju is revered and savored at every state dinner, every function in Chinese culture, and at every occasion from birthdays to weddings, but especially at business dinners. It is a deeply ingrained tradition that has now expanded not just to China, but also to other parts of the world. For the first time, Chinese from the South are exporting Baiju to their northern counterparts, ensuring that this Chinese beverage can be enjoyed throughout the empire. Distilleries start exporting to other countries, and the growing worldwide awareness and interest in Baiju help us understand why it is the world's most popular drink in terms of volume and market share. The question now is will Baiju finally be recognized in the West as the world's most popular drink, comparable to whiskey or vodka? Will it become more popular as a cocktail ingredient in the future? Well, Baiju isn't finishing a book, it's just getting started on a global bestseller. How likely do you want to taste this Baiju? Or have you tasted one? Share it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Advanced Mixology. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you will stay updated on our latest videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.